Hi, I'm Andy Leonard, and today I'm going to show you how to download, install, and configure the Hop2 Work for Citrix on an iPad. So, the first thing you need to do is tap on the App Store and in the search box type Hop2 and then hit search. You will now see four apps available in the App Store for Hop2. The one you want is the bottom left hand corner one here that says Hop2 Work for Citrix. So, next week, just click on download. Once it's downloaded, you just click on open. Accept the message on the screen by tapping on OK. Then accept the license agreement. Now you're ready to log on to your Citrix environment. So in the server URL, you need to put the IP or the FQDN name of your Citrix Zen app delivery controller. So after you put the IP or FQDN name of your server, you then need to put your username in, which is your Active Directory account, your password in, and the Active Directory domain. Once you've done this, you now click Sign In. Now you see that Hop2 Work for Citrix is opened on your iPad. Once it's connected, we will now see the Hop2 Work workspace on the iPad. From here, if you click on Applications with your finger, you now see a list of applications that are published through your Citrix environment from your Citrix VDA machines, which is your virtual delivery agent. So in this case, we have Calculator, Notepad, QuickBooks Pro 2015, and WordPad, all published from these servers. In this demo, I'm running Citrix Zen App 7.6, and I have one delivery controller, and then one VDA machine. So on the virtual delivery agent server, I have the, these applications installed. So these are where they're being published from. So to do that, you Obviously add a machine category and add the VDA machine. Then you create a delivery group and in that delivery group you publish the applications. So to open one of these applications up, just tap on the application you want to open. So in this example, let's open QuickBooks Pro 2015. Okay, now the application is opened. You will notice that it's opened a new tab along the top there you know, Sample Rock Castle um, for QuickBooks. Along the very bottom, you will notice a toolbar. This toolbar we call is Max Control. So if I click the tab to the left-hand side of QuickBooks, this is your Home tab. So now if I open another application, like WordPad, you will now see it's opened in a new tab. So we now can switch between WordPad and QuickBooks very easily. Let's open one more application just to show you three tabs. So if we open up Calculator, you now you have Calculator, WordPad, and QuickBooks Pro. So I'd like to show you just a few things regarding Hop2 Work. I don't want to go into too much detail as I will be making another video regarding the Max features of Hop2. But one thing I'd like to show you is a Max control at the bottom here. So in QuickBooks, now as you can see, there's a toolbar along the bottom which is Insert, General, Editing, Activities, Close Window Exit, Maximize, Auto Zoom and Keyboard. This toolbar along the bottom is predefined on your Citrix servers using a Hop2 control panel. Using this Hop2 control panel you can easily create the short key buttons for any application you have published within your ZenApp environment. So in this example here you know we have Activities button along the bottom so if I press Activities we now have a sub menu with more options to choose from. So in this we can do create invoice then automatically we'll create an invoice using the short key button that we've programmed using the Hop2 control panel on the Citrix Zen app server. The next thing I'd like to show you is a max edit feature in Hop2 work. So in QuickBooks here if we click on a description field for an example this would be editable field. So if I click on this with my finger now it automatically brings a keyboard up and it automatically moves the screen up so the keyboard doesn't cover over what you're trying to type. And then you can type in here. So if we go back to the home screen by clicking the top left tab on the iPad here. Now just very briefly, other things that we can do with the Hop2 work workspace is access your local drives or your roaming profiles on the Citrix environment. You can also click settings here in the bottom left hand corner and you can add any cloud sources, you know, Dropbox, Box, Copy, Google Drive, Ignite, 
and OneDrive. If we go back to um, applications here, and also in the top right hand corner here, you know, underneath where the battery is, if you click on this, you can also create documents. So you can create a Word, you know, an Excel, or a PowerPoint document. Please keep an eye on our Hop2 YouTube channel for other videos showing the Hop2 control panel and the max control features in the Hop2 work application. This will include you know, how the Hop2 control panel works and the different configurations you can do, which includes a max control for the toolbars. The last thing I want to show you today is if you open Safari up in your iPad and go to hop2.com, then scroll down to the bottom and then click on support. This is a Hop2 help desk or knowledge base. And from here, you know, there's various documentation regards to Hop2 work for Citrix and Hop2 work for RDS and general information and system requirements and that kind of thing. And if you really do have an issue, then just send an email to support at hop2.com. We'll be able to help you with the issue you are having. Thank you for your time today and hope the video was informative.